Hey everyone, today Procter & Brothers is back at D18 and guess what's behind this door? Dun, 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 dun. And we will bring you to a project called The Stratum. If you like ground floor on suite patio unit, then you'll be sure to like what's coming up next. Let's go check it out. So let me share a little bit more about the development with you. Now, Stratum was developed by Elitis Development Private Limited, and it is a 99-year whole leasehold project that TOP'd in 2016. Now, the unit mix ranges from one bedder ensuite to five bedroom type and penthouse units. The entire project sits on a huge land parcel of 23,322 square meters, with 380 units spread across five levels across 14 residential blocks. So if you love low-density living, then this is definitely ideal. Looking at the location, Stratum is located at the junction of Pasiris Drive and the exclusive landed neighbourhood of Elias Road. Now over here, we are also surrounded by nature and we are just a short walk away to the beach. So if you're looking for a place where you can easily escape from the hustle and bustle of city life, Stratum is definitely a development that you will be interested in. Now let's talk about the accessibility of this project. For those who drive, Stratum Condo is highly accessible to various parts of the island via TPE, KPE and PIE. It takes about 10 minutes to reach Changi Airport and 20 minutes to both the CBD area and the Orchard Road shopping belt. We are also just two bus stops away from Pasir Ris MRT station on the east-west line. What's more, when the Cross Island line is up by 2029, transportation will be even more convenient as this 50km line will connect key employment areas such as Changi Logistics Park and Jurong Industrial Estate to Pasir Ris. This line will also have the highest number of interchange stations with almost half the stations on the line linked to existing rail stations. Thanks to the upcoming plans by the government, future residents will soon find this entire area rejuvenated with various recreational facilities and see Pasir Ris Town Central transform into a vibrant and bustling hub. One such development that residents can look forward to is Pasir Ris 8, which is expected to complete in 2024 to 2025. Now, Pasir Ris 8 is an integrated development with residential, commercial, town plaza and Polyclinic seamlessly connected to Pasir Ris MRT station and a bus interchange. Today, we're showing you a ground floor ensuite unit that's located near the arrival foyer that is along Elias Road. Elias Road is a smaller, quieter road that leads to the landed enclave, so you do not need to worry about heavy traffic passing through due to the low population density in the area. <laughs> Let's take a look at the floor plan of this unit. The size of this unit is at 559 square feet. It comes with a kitchen area, a master bathroom, a combined living and bedroom area, a designated dining area, and a front and back balcony space. Now, as we enter the unit, we realize that we are greeted by this very spacious foyer space. Now, this is great because you can actually do some shoe cabinetry over here. And when you enter the unit, you realize that people cannot look directly into the living room. So that means that you get a lot of privacy. Now, what's really fantastic is that over here, you see that we get a very tall window that allows for lots of natural sunlight to stream into the apartment. And when you need fresh air as well, you can open the windows, which allows for lots of ventilation. Now, what's great is that blinds have also been installed thought so should you need more privacy all you have to do is pull them down now looking into the area outside you realize that there's a very good depth between our unit and the stairs in front now this means that when people are walking past your unit they actually cannot go very close to your unit just take a look outside. So you see that over there, there's actually a little feature, a water feature there, that people have to walk along before they reach the stairs. As you notice, the windows here are actually really tinted. So what this means is that when people are walking past, they actually can't really look into your unit, ensuring that you get all the privacy that you need. Right next to your unit, there's also another side gate here. So it's actually really easy and convenient for you when you want to go back home. Now, as we walk towards the apartment, you'll notice that we have a little balcony here. So let's check it out. over here you see we have a very good space and we have a very tall height so what you can do actually is to zip track this up and maybe add decking and what you can do is convert this to an alfresco dining area so that you have more internal space freed up for yourself if not this can also be left open and it can be used as a yard area to dry your clothes let's head back to the unit now as we walk down this little corridor you realize that the kitchen has been actually built along the length of this wall now what's really great is that cabinetry has been done on both top and bottom and looking at 
made it, they're all in very pristine condition. So over here, there's also provision for a washing machine, which is great. And then you have your sink over here. There is like a two burner induction stove over here and an oven for you to do your baking. And right over here, you even have space for your fridge. So all in all, this cooking space here is very, very functional, very good. And one thing that's really great is that you can open the windows over there. So when you're cooking, you don't have to worry about the aromas being trapped in a house because there's always provisions for good ventilation. Now right now, this is an open concept kitchen, but should you want to segregate this area from your living and dining space, all you have to do is install a sliding door over here. So right next to our kitchen is actually the attached bathroom as well. Now this is a very spacious bathroom, so let's check it out. in the shower area, we even have a rain shower installed. And guess what's behind this door? Dun, 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 dun. You actually have your wardrobe. Ta -da! Now as we exit from the bathroom, let's head into the main living space. I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile do you know how much I love you? Now you'll notice that the layout here is a very squarish and regular layout, making it very easy for you to arrange your furniture. So over here in the corner, you can actually put your dining table over here. So what we have set up is a dining area for four. And you can see this is a very good space for you to have your friends over when they come for a visit and have dinner with you. Moving over to this corner, this is actually where you can set up your TV console area. If not, you can also put a work and study desk over here. As you know, many of us are working from home, this is definitely a comfortable space for you. So over here, this is the living room area and you can see that they have actually put a huge two-seater sofa over here. So no problem if you actually want to have a more space, this can also be a sofa bed so that if you have guests coming over, they can actually sleep in this area. Coming over to this corner, this is actually the designated sleeping space. Currently, we have a queen-size bed over here but what you can actually do to maximize space is actually perhaps to install loft bed furniture. If not, you can also install a Murphy bit that can flip up and down. Now, should you need more wardrobe space, what you can actually do is actually to shift the position of the bit and sofa out. And along this very, very tall wall, what you can do is actually build a wardrobe against it so that you have more space for your clothes. Now, this unit, one thing that's really great is that the height is actually almost close to 4.7 meters. So it means that coming in, you actually feel that the unit is very big and spacious. Over here, we have the second balcony of the unit and what's really nice is that we are facing towards Elias Road with lots of greenery. And the direction facing of our balcony is actually towards north. Our front door facing is towards east, so what this means for you is that our unit never gets the west sun as we are being shielded by the neighbouring blocks. Now what's also really great is that this balcony is on elevated ground and the path outside actually leads downwards. This means that no one will ever walk past the unit and you get all the privacy you want despite being on the ground floor. Now let's talk more about the pricing analysis for our unit at the Stratum. Now for this 559 square feet ensuite unit at Stratum, we are asking for $680,000. Assuming an interest rate of 1.2%, loan tenure of 25 years, and loan to value of 75%, that means your monthly mortgage will be at $1,969. For this unit, what is great is that if you are an investor, you are buying it with tenancy as it is currently being rented out at $1,750 a month until July 2022. You also don't have to worry about future tenants as there is a ready pool of tenants from the nearby overseas family school, the nearby Changi Business Park, Loyang Industrial Park, and the upcoming Salita Aerospace Park. And if you're a single or a couple who loves the minimalist lifestyle and adore being surrounded by nature, this unit is also perfect for you. A bonus for this project is that it is designed to be with ramps and lifts, making it wheelchair and bike friendly so that you can push your bikes out easily if you want to head to the nearby park to cycle. So if you're looking at studios or one-bidders in this area, here are some options for you. Firstly, there are four predominant zonings and passeries for condo enclaves. Stratum belongs to a low-rise project with full condo facilities and is walkable to the beach. There is a high-rise and larger project opposite called View 8 Residences. Currently, one-bidder units there are asking from $640,000 to $668,000. Do note that the size of those units are smaller at 474 square feet. Next will be the one-bidders in the area along Passeries Grove. The nest units are asking between $630 to 
660,000, size at 484 square feet. Cocoa Palm units are asking between 668 to 700,000, size at 463 square feet. The pellet units are asking between 650 to 749K, with sizes ranging between 484 square feet to 700 square feet. And at NV residences, the units asking prices are between 660 to 708K, with sizes ranging between 495 square feet to 656 square feet. Third will be the enclave at Jalan Loyang Besar. Now, one meter units can be found at Siesta, Ripple Bay, and Sea Strand. And the asking prices there generally range from 600 to 680k, with sizes ranging from 517 to 613 square feet. Lastly, the fourth enclave is at Pasir Ris Central, with the latest new launch at Pasir Ris 8, where one bidders are sized between 517 to 538 square feet, and prices start from minimally 800k to perhaps the 900k range. And this has sold very well during its recent launch. So nowadays, it is actually not easy to find a project that gives you both front and back balcony space, but here here at our ground floor ensuite unit, you actually have it. Now, what this means is that it actually gives you more options and there's more versatility to this unit. As we mentioned just now, for one of the balcony spaces, you can actually enclose it with a zip track and turn it our fresco dining. Meanwhile, you can keep the other one open so that you can chill in the evening with a glass of wine or read a book perhaps. <laughs> Now, the stratum is also close by to a few reputable schools in the area. Within the one kilometer radius, we have Park View Primary School and Elias Park Primary School. We are also located right next to the Overseas Family School. Stratum offers its residents school facilities in four unique themes amidst a beautiful green landscape. Maintenance fees are at about $283 a month, and the highlights here include a 50 meter lap pole, function room, fitness gym, outdoor gym, tennis court, yoga court, and much more. You also don't have to worry about amenities as Stratum is just directly opposite Elias Mall where you can find Seng Shiong Supermarket as well as a bunch of eateries for the days that you don't feel like cooking. Over at Elias Mall, you can also find a wide array of goods and services which will cater to your other basic needs. Nearby in the vicinity, we also have Ikea Tempanese, Quartz Megastore Tempanese and White Sands where many shopping, dining, entertainment and leisure facilities can be found. So if you like this ground floor ensuite unit with front and back balcony space and you love nature and want to be just a walk away to the beach, do give our listing Managers a call. I'm Alexa from Property Limb Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Right now, you can see that. Hmm, okay. All you have to do is indoors. Install. <laughs> you all have to cut many times, okay? Actually, my phone is behind me. <laughs> so nowadays, it's actually not. Okay. So nowadays, it's. it's Last part. Yeah! If you like this ensuite unit, be sure to give our listing manager a. Woohoo!